Hi, everyone. This is Matthew Bates, author of Why the Gospel. I'm going to be reading a selection from the book, and this is from chapter three. The chapter's title is Glory's Two Faces. We are so self-absorbed that we have trouble even beginning to think about salvation from a God-centered point of view. Here's the issue. When we assume that the fundamental problem, the most foundational bad news, is our guilt before God for our sins, we are viewing the matter from a selfish perspective. We are putting ourselves, our own individual plight, I deserve to be punished and die for my sins, and its solution. I can trust that Jesus is my substitute. We're putting that at the center. Don't get me wrong. Each of us is personally guilty. We do need rescue so we can be reestablished in our relationship with a holy God. But what if we were to think of salvation in a less self-centered way? What if we were to put God's problem at the center of salvation rather than ours? And secondarily, creation's problem. Imagine God expressing his fundamental dilemma with regard to why his creation project needs rescue, the bad news, this way. I designed creation to be ruled by humans. I made them in my image, giving them the ability to reflect my intrinsic honor because I wanted them to freely choose to make that glory maximally present in every location as they spread over the earth. But humans have opted to dishonor me creating a glory deficit for me, them, and all creation. Now creation is in a downward spiral because it is failing to receive the honor it needs. How can I restore my glory amid humanity so that creation can experience my glory through human rule as I originally intended? In a nutshell, God's salvation problem is this. How can I reestablish my glory that is honor amid humans for their sake, for creation's sake, and for my own sake. When we see that our it is all about human guilt and forgiveness way of conceptualizing the bad news is self-centered, we are in a better position to discern the gospel's most urgent why. Above all, we must recognize this. The bad news is not merely that we deserve death and punishment. It's far worse. God's whole creation project is threatened by sin because sin prevents humans from doing what God designed humans to do, to spread his fame to all creation through image carrying and reproduction. God isn't just trying to erase our guilt. He's trying to undo harm and restore honor.